Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. This is a part 2 of the uh, Discord uh, series with Discord.py and Python. In the last episode, part 2, we created a welcomer bot. In this part 3, we're gonna create an embed. Basically, embeds are beautifully designed cards that can hold text, images, and more. So, uh, let's start off by creating a new command async dev. We're gonna call it the basic embed. We're gonna start by the basics. And uh, now how we're gonna do this. So we're gonna uh, create a new variable called embed and call an embed function from Discord. And we're gonna pass in our essential um, parameters. This is title, we'll just, uh, we'll just call it, we'll just call it, uh, this is an embed. A title, this is an embed. And a description, we'll just call it, this is a basic and we need we don't need the color but we'll just add in a color discard the color um let's go to orange and after that we'll just simply send in the embed dot send just say embed is an embed as simple as that there's a little error here just forgot it's a function now let's redo it let's type in here basic embed and as you can see it's orange layout is orange and this is an embed this is a basic embed now let's make a more advanced type of embed make create a new command now we'll just call it a uh, adv for advanced embed we'll just pass in cdx and We'll need this line, literally this line over here is the same line. We'll just add in more stuff to it. And we'll need the same line too. Now we'll start adding stuff to the embed. So let's start by adding uh, a new field. A new field to the embed where we're gonna display, for example, uh, we'll just give it a name, field1 and value, which is the value of the field. I'll just call we'll just say like for example this is the first field and we want the inline to be true and I'll show you what's the difference between inline true and inline uh not specified actually inline false we'll just copy this like four times and we'll add in inline uh when you don't specify the inline it's automatically uh true so let's, let's do like this this is two three four you know the rest five six seven seven and eight now let's add in more stuff for example the embed dot set uh thumbnail and we're gonna pass in a URL to the thumbnail. We're just pass it in as a thumbnail. We can add a footer to our text. Let's come down the add. Actually, set footer. And for example, um, this is the advanced embed footer. We can add in, uh, for example, a timestamp uh, embed timestamp equals date time dot dtc now we'll, and we'll have to import from date time import all and we can specify an author to the embed embed dot set author for example medi icon url and yeah that's it for now let's just keep it clean and simple uh, and let's try out let's start our bot as you can see here this is how the embed will look like uh, the menu is the author the the author image should pop up here but it doesn't really uh, work because we got in a faulty image and the same goes for here it shows that there is an image but it's faulty it shows the title and the title of the description this is the fields 
and this is the fields where you disable the inline and this is how it looks like when the inline is enabled you just put sim and then same line if there is enough space this is the footer saying this is the advanced embed footer and this is the timestamp added to the embed there you go you have it if you successfully created a good looking embed make sure to subscribe and hit the like button if you found this video helpful in the next part of our series we'll delve into more exciting topics such as slash commands and error handling and more thank you for joining us in part 3 happy coding and catch you in the next video